Good morning, everyone. Happy 4th of July. This is TJ. So just to let you know that this is kind of a bonus class, uh, just in case if you were looking for something to do to get your day going on this 4th of July morning. Um, so for today's class, it is going to be a 3 to one This is something that we have not done, um, but how it works is it's going to be three minutes of strength two minutes of cardio and one minute of core. And so we'll do, there'll be three exercises per round. And so since it's the fourth, there's gonna be four rounds, all right? So getting started, you wanna make sure you have a mat, you have a variety of dumbbells or soup cans, um, whatever it is that you have available at home. But otherwise, let's get started, all right? So we're gonna start off just with body weight on this one, just so you get used to it. So pretty much the idea is to think like a firework. So it's like we're kind of spreading our body out. So my hands are gonna be out by my side, my feet are gonna be apart. And what we're going to do is we're going to bend at the waist, we're going to come down. That right hand is going to touch the foot, the right foot back up. And then to the other side, the left hand slides down the leg to that foot, other side. So this is a windmill, all right? So a windmill. So we're working or we're feeling the back of those legs in that stretch. The next round, we're going to actually do it with, um, with weights, three, two, one. Again, we were just kind of warming up, just trying to make it through. All right, so the next one for our cardio element is we're going to crouch down. So think like you're kind of doing a partial squat. So we're gonna crouch down and we're going to explode. Hands and feet come apart like the letter X and then crouch down again, back out, back in, back out. Ready, go. So this is a star jack. Nice job. And if it's easier for you, you can always kind of step it in and out as you do it. Otherwise, you can be dynamic. Nice job. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. So we're going to go back to that. Um, that windmill that we were doing. So we're gonna go back and forth between those two. All right, so with my dumbbells, totally up to you on this one. But actually it would probably work. One dumbbell is going to be pretty much, sorry, two dumbbells. <laughs> down the leg, back up, down the leg, back up. So your feet are still apart. But this time, instead of having the hands out here and doing it, just have your hands down. Ready? Go. We'll get situated, I swear. Nice job. So it's like an RDL of sorts, feeling it through the back of the legs into the hamstrings. You can put a slight bend in the leg as you go down to that one side, having some control as you're doing it, you can always go with the heavier dumbbell too. Three, two, one. So dumbbell down. We're going to go back to that star jack. So remember, you have that option of stepping it in and out. Otherwise, be explosive. All right? No pun intended. Ready? Go. Nice job. So for this particular round or any round that we do, we're gonna focus more on the strength portion, a little more than the cardio, which will be less. Again, three minutes to two. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. So we're going to go back to that window 
And again, if you want to make it challenging for this last and final round, again, lighter dumbbells, hands out to the side, then you're going to turn to where one hand is up in the air, the other hand follows down the side of the leg. Nice job. Keep going. So we're just bending at the waist. That arm pretty much just naturally comes up. I'm not doing anything where that movement with my shoulder, it's not like I'm pressing as I'm doing it. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right. So one last and final star jack. We're going to go back to the windmill one last time, and then we're going to move into the cardio element or the core element. Sorry. All right. Ready? Star jack. Go. Good job. So like I said, last one for this one. We've got one more. But that horizontal, actually vertical window. It's vertical, horizontal is the three we're doing it differently. Three, two, one. All right, great job. All right. So back to that vertical window because we're standing. Again, horizontal is if you're lying on the ground. I think I've been calling it horizontal this whole time. All right, ready, last one, go. Nice job, so whether you choose to use dumbbells, you can, if you want the heavier ones, and you just want to keep the hands down by your side. You can just one leg at a time. Slight bend in the knees. Just want to feel it through the back of the leg, but you don't want to feel it through the back of the, your knee. So remember, after this, no star jack. You go into the core element. Five, four. Three, two, one. All right. So with this core element, it is going to be one round. Um, so it's one, well, it's two rounds for 30 seconds each, which makes up for that minute. All right. So we're going to do a plank or a pillar bridge, however you know it. So whether you're on your knees or your hands, just keeping the body straight. Ready? Up. Great job, come on. So for 30 seconds, so we're halfway through, drawing that belly button towards the spine. If it becomes too much and you're on your feet, you could drop down to your knees. You could always be on your elbows. Three, two, one. Child's pose for me, so sitting back onto those heels. Hands are out in front of you. Stretching out that low back. All right, so you've got one last pillar bridge or plank. Ready, set, go. So after this, we'll get a drink of water. We'll move into the next round. So keeping that body straight, whether you're on your knees or your feet. Making sure that the hands are directly underneath the shoulders and supporting the body. Nice job. Five, four, three, two, one. Child's pose. And get a drink of water. So for this next one, we're going to move to chest as the strength exercise. So we'll be on the ground the whole time for this one.
All right, so with our push up, I'm gonna move my dumbbells out of the way. So with our push up, whether you're on your knees or your feet, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down all the way to the ground, hands out to the side, back in, push up, back down, hands back out. Ready, set, go. So it's like a T push up. So you're making the letter T with your hands as they come out by your side. The next round, we're going to throw the feet in there. Again, making our body kind of big, like you think like a firework exploding in the sky. Three, two, one. Excellent. So this next one that we're going to do is another core exercise. It's going to be a lot for, well, it's more of a cardio exercise than anything. All right. So we're going to go into this bear hold, all right? And pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to push it out, bring it back in. So you can walk one hand out, out at a time. So back out, back in, back out, back in, all right? Ready, set, go. Nice job. So we have some very core in nature, but since we are moving, it becomes very cardiovascular. Nice job. If you feel like it's easiest, you could always be on your knees and you can walk those hands in and out towards the knee. Three, two, one. Child's pose, since we have a lot of upper body that we have to support, we want to make sure we stretch out the back. So we're going to go back to that push up, and this time we're going to include the feet. So when you're down, hands out to a T, legs come apart, back in for both the, the legs and the arms, push back up, down out and in. Ready, go. So legs come apart, hands out to a T. Like you think of those fireworks that have the shapes, the circles, the smiley faces, the hearts, or even letters. Nice job. And again, you could always push up onto the knee and do the same thing with the hands and the feet. If it's easier, three, two, one. Nice job. So we're gonna go back to that bear crawl or that bear hold, and we're going to walk it out and in. Again, a lot of upper body support. Ready? Three, two, one. So, walking it in and out. And again, you can be on your hands and your knees, and you can walk it back in and out. But if you float your knees up off the ground, as you're walking in and out, Nice job. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent child's pose. So after this, so we be, we're gonna do a push up. And then we'll do one more of that bear crawl kind of cardio elements. And then one last push up. So two push ups and a bear crawl. All right, so same thing that we were doing the second round. So whether you're on your knees or your feet, you come down, feet apart, hands out to your side. Ready, set, 
Go. Excellent job. So again, you can push up onto the knees. Just remember straight body. Excellent. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Nice job. Those push ups are intense. All right, so you've got the bear crawl or the bear hold with the walkout. All right, get ready. One last one for this one. Ready, go. So again, either on your knees, walking it in and walking it out. Nice job. Or you can be walking it in and walking it out with your feet. If you prefer, just as another option versus holding your feet at 90 and walking your hands back in. If you feel like your arms start to get tired, shake it out. Nice job. Keeping those shoulders or the hands underneath the shoulders. As you get tired, it feels like your hands start walking away. Three, two, one, nice job, child's pose. So one last and final push up, and we're gonna move into core. Ready, so push up, go. So hands come out to a T, the legs come apart. You could be on your knees, which is what I've been doing for the last 10 seconds or so. Otherwise, onto the feet. You'll usually see me doing both variations just so people know whether they dial back or step it up. Three, two, one. Nice job. Child's pose. We're going to go into that core, that core element, which is going to be for our low back. All right, flip it over. We're going to do a bridge. So the bridge is for our low back. Feet close to your backside or your bottom. Pushing the hip up, down, squeezing through the glutes, filling it through the low back. If you feel like it's too easy, feet together, knees together. Ready? Two rounds, go. Nice job. Pushing equally through your feet, feeling it through the low back. Excellent. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring your knees into your chest and hug your arms around your knees. We'll do one more of the bridge and then we'll get a drink of water and we'll move on. All right. Okay, get ready. Last bridge, go. So feet together, knees together. Pushing the hip straight up and down. Great job, everyone. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. So hugging your, bringing your knees into your chest, hugging your arms around your knees. And when you're ready, you can roll up and you can get a drink of water. And we'll move on to the next one. All right, so for the next one, we're going to stand for this round. 
and we're going to use a dumbbell, and I'm going to use one, one dumbbell just to show you what we're doing. So very similar to our star jack, this is going to be a star squat, all right? So pretty much you're going to, um, so we'll start off squatted. As we stand up, we bring the feet apart, and then we step it back in, and then we squat down. As we stand, we bring the feet apart, just like so. And I'm holding the dumbbell close to my chest. All right, let's start with that. Ready, set, go. So step the feet in. And so as you stand, step the feet out, you bring the feet in, and as you bring the feet in, you squat or you sit like you're sitting into a chair. If you mess up, which occasionally happens, even for me, just keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. There will be an added component to that. So if you thought that was easy then, it'll get harder the next time, all right? So we're gonna go shuffles, side to side. So again, all about making ourselves big, like a firework. Ready, so shuffling side to side. All right, ready, go. So if you don't have a lot of space, you could just go forward and back just once. Otherwise, you can keep moving. So it's like thinking of those fireworks that kind of fan out. They're usually on the ground, but they shoot up all at the same time. And sometimes they kind of move side to side. Nice job. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. So for this uh, star jack or the star squat, like we were doing. So this time when you are down, so again here, you're going to jump out where your feet are apart. But as the feet come out, you're going to press up, back down, press up, back down. Now you could still do the feet coming in and out just press up as you do it, all right? That's the easiest option. Ready, go. So again, the harder option, just jumping the feet out, pressing that dumbbell up, keeping that core engaged, otherwise stepping out, get the feet, pressing, that dumbbell up as we step those feet out. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. So that is the, the options. All right, back to the shuffle. All right, ready, set, go. So shuffle. Great job, everyone. So we're over halfway through. After this, we've got one last and final round. Again, make yourself big, like firework, like those fireworks that happen all at the same time. Maybe they move side to side. They got some movement, keeping that core engaged. Nice job. Five, four, three, two, one, excellent. All right, so back to that star squat with the overhead press. So a reminder of the down plate version, you're squatted as you stand out, out with the feet, one at a time, press it up, back in, otherwise jump it out, press up at the same time. Ready, set, go. So my feet are shoulder width apart. Of course, as you jump in, they may come a lot closer together. 
foot again, sitting back into that squat. Nice job. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. All right, jump up down. So one last shuffle side to side, and then one last star jack or star squat, and we'll move on to core. All right, ready, go. Nice job. Come on. Going. So side to side. So even if you don't have that much room, you could just go one hop versus multiple hops. Nice job. So one last star squad. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Catch your breath. One last star squat. So remember, squat down, either step it out, out, press it up, or jump with the feet out and pressing overhead. One dumbbell. Ready? Go. So remember, no more shuffles. After this, nice job. Come on, everyone. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. So onto the ground for this for this one. So we're going to go side bridge or side plank, as some of you may know it. So bottom foot is bent, and so that's modified. Otherwise, feet are stacked, and your body is straight from shoulder, hip to knee, or shoulder, hip to heel, All right? Two rounds per side, so technically two minutes. All right, ready? Up. So we're not doing anything special, we're just holding. And I have my left hand for balance and support. We will make it interesting for the last round. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one, down. And we're going to go to the other side. Remember, modified is the leg closest to the ground is bent at 90, and you're just holding. Otherwise, feet stacked. Ready? Up. So straight body, shoulder, hip to heel, or if you're on your knee, straight body that way. Keep going. Keep it up. So we got one more. Round per side, making sure shoulders stay stacked over the elbow we're on. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. All right, other side. One last and final time. This time, to make it interesting whether it's modified or not, is you're going to raise the top leg while you're holding your side bridge or your side plank. Ready? Go. So it's just raising the leg up and down, keeping that body straight. And remember, shoulder is stacked. Shoulders are stacked over the elbow. If it becomes too much with that harder one, you can switch. You can move to modify. Five. Four, three, two, one. Other side, last time. Drink of water after. Ready, up. So again, either modified, raising that leg up and down, that top leg, 
Otherwise, both legs are extended and one leg is moving up and down the top one. Just be careful not to find yourself turning your shoulders in towards the floor. If you find yourself doing that, you either need to make it a little easier on yourself or just be a little more aware of your shoulders. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, drink of water. We got one last and final round, like I said, 4th of July. Four rounds. Our components. All right, so we're gonna stand for this one. Last and final one that we were doing. So soup cans or lighter dumbbells, feet apart. We're going to do a windmill or sometimes I'll call it a snow angel. So you think of a snow angel lying in the snow, but obviously there is no snow in July. All right, so hands face out. We go into a wide position with the hands facing out. Bring those hands down by our side. Ready, go. So straight arms, keeping the shoulder blades flat up against the back. If you, if you feel like just the dumbbells alone is a little too much, you can always stand up against the wall in your home and keep your hands and your elbows up against the wall as you're doing it. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, so cardio element. This is the one where we're gonna be going up and down on the floor. So again, like I said, lots of core going on just within the whole workout itself. So whether you're on your hands or your knees, I'll show knees first. You're going to start with your hands a little closer to each other. I want you to walk out your hands, walk out your knees, Walk your knees in, walk your hands in, back out, out, in, in. Ready, set, go. So I'll show modified. Again, if you get confused, reset yourself. It usually happens even to the best of us. So keeping that core engaged, so again, I'm showing it on the knees, but I'll show it on the hands the next time. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Standing up, going back to that windmill with the soup cans, or no, no soup cans, you go up against the wall and do it. All right, ready, set, go. So remember, arms are straight. The letter Y at the top, back down, letter Y, back down. Don't ask yourself why we're doing these exercises. Just remember it's total body. Three, two, one. That's why. Great job. Keep it up. So if it becomes a little too challenging with those soup cans, drop it to no hands or a lighter weight. So shoulder blades flat up against your back. Nice shot, everyone. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. If it becomes too challenging, you can always pause at the bottom and rest, shake out your arms. But let's move it back down to the floor. So remember, on the knees, walk hands out to the side, knees out to the side, back in, back in. Otherwise, on your hands and your feet, you're gonna walk hands out, feet out, feet in, hands in. Ready, go. So hands out, feet in, in, hands in, hands out. Keeping your shoulder, or your hands directly over your shoulders. Again, lots of Lots of core, but it definitely gets the heart going. 
Five, four, three, two, one. All right, child's pose, just really quick. So there's gonna be one more of that one, but two more of the windmill, just so you know where we're going, where we're at. But remember, last, last round. All right, windmill, ready, set, go. Great job. Again, if it becomes too much, just switch to no hands, shoulder blades up against your back. If it's still really feeling like those shoulders are on fire, shake them out really quick and get back to it. Even if it's with no weight, it's still challenging to lift those arms in that snow angel or sort of windmill fashion. Ready? We're almost there, my bad. See, starting to get tired. Three, two, one. All right. So one last and final in and out with the hands and the feet in our pillar bridge or plank. All right. So you got hands and knees or hands and feet. Ready, go. Nice shot, come on. So walking the hands out, and then walking the feet out, walking the feet in, walking the hands in. Almost there, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Child's pose. One last and final. Windmill, snow angel. Snow angel would technically be if you're on the ground. Windmill is if you're standing up, but everyone has a different name. All right, windmill, last time. Ready, go. I'm gonna go no weight, just because my shoulders are on fire in a good way, not in a bad way. They're just tired. Again, if you have any shoulder injuries, you would just want to be aware of what you're doing. Be mindful of your form as you're doing it. Again, if the arms get tired, shoulders get tired, shake it out. After this, we're going to do one last and final core exercise. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, so one last and final minute. And that is with your legs extended and feet together, knees together. We're going to do a crunch, working or focusing on the lower part of our core. All right, so just feet extended for this one. Ready, go. Keeping the chin off of your chest. Feet together, knees together. As you start doing it, maybe you kind of forget where you are in the sense of like, like space and like your body and what your form looks like. So remember to stay engaged with the exercises throughout the workout. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Hands overhead, point those feet away from your body. We've got one last and final one. And this time, it's going to be feet up at 90 degrees. And we're going to do the same crunch, chin off of the chest, crunching up and down. One last one, go. So chin off of the chest, keeping the feet at or the legs at 90. Nice job, 10 seconds, get excited. 
Five, four, three, two, one. All right, hands overhead. Extend those feet out or legs out in front of you. Point those toes away from your body. Feeling that stretch through your core. Nice job. All right, so let's turn to the side. And so my, I'm gonna grab the top of my foot with my leg bent and my knee is next to my other knee and we're stretching out the front of our leg, our upper leg. So our quads. Nice job. All right, let's flip, do the other side. Nice job. All right, we're gonna come up onto our bottom. So the legs are out in front of us, reaching for our, either our calf, our ankles, or our toes. Nice job. All right, so coming up onto our knees, you can stand if you want, just be careful ahead has been kind of below or in line with the heart. If you get dizzy easily, you just want to be mindful of that. But reaching the left hand towards the right side, it's reaching, really stretching and straightening that left arm. If it helps, you can rest your right hand on the back of your right calf, especially if you do not have long arms to be able to kind of touch the floor comfortably. Other side, left hand on the back of the left calf. Just reaching that right hand over towards the left, really straightening and stretching that out. And one last and final stretch. Interlock your fingers, place it back behind your head, push your hands, or push your head back into your hands and push your elbows back. So we're feeling this openness through the chest. Otherwise, if it's easier, you could always just have your hands by your side, lifting those arms behind you. So if there's any shoulder issues or concerns, this one might be more doable than the other. All right, have a safe and happy 4th of July, everyone.